Nine situations when you really shouldn't drink water. Not many people go to the gym or eat dinner without drinking some water. But too much of the stuff can lead to some serious health problems. So, let's see when drinking water can actually be harmful for you. Stick around till the end of the video for a helpful bonus. I'll let you know what can happen to your body if you drink too much liquid during the day. Spoiler alert, nothing good will come of it. 1. Right before bed There are at least three reasons why you should avoid drinking water before going to sleep. It can potentially result in interrupted, thus poor quality, sleep. You'll be running to the bathroom to pee throughout the night and it may take longer for you to fall asleep again. Our kidneys work slower at night than they do in the day. That's why you might notice some facial and limb swelling in the morning. Drinking water before sleep can increase these symptoms. When you drink too much water, the volume of your blood increases, and this causes harmful pressure on the heart and blood vessels. In the worst case scenario, this can lead to seizures. 2. During an intense workout Experts say that excessive water intake while exercising can have several negative side effects. During an intense workout, your body temperature rises, which is why you feel hot when you're training. But drinking too much water to cool down during a workout can cause an electrolyte depletion. As a result, the person may suffer from headaches, nausea, and dizziness. That's why doctors recommend drinking water only after you exercise because it'll flush out the waste products that have accumulated in your muscles and joints. It also improves flexibility and reduces soreness. 3. If your urine is colorless Completely clear urine is a sign of overhydration. If you have colorless urine, you're probably drinking too much water during the day, even when you don't feel thirsty. This H2O overload can lead to low sodium levels, which can result in some serious health problems, including a possible heart attack. 4. To wash down spicy food you should never drink water after eating something spicy like chili peppers. Their mouth-burning effect is actually caused by a molecule called capsaicin, and when it reaches the mouth, it provokes the pain receptors in there. The brain, trying to get rid of the painful burning sensation, makes your eyes water and your nose run. You may even start sweating. Since capsaicin is a nonpolar molecule, it can be dissolved only in other nonpolar substances, like milk. Milk contains fat molecules and the protein casein, both of which are perfect for extinguishing the fire in your mouth. But if you wash down hot peppers with a polar substance like water, it just spreads the capsaicin all over the inside of the mouth and throat. And if you've ever done this before, you know it only makes the situation way worse. If you don't have any milk on hand, just grab a bite of a not-so-spicy food instead of gulping down water. 5. Right before, during, or after a meal Having too much water with your meal often leads to indigestion. This happens because your mouth produces saliva, which has enzymes that are essential for a healthy digestive process. Your stomach, in turn, also produces gastric acid that's absolutely necessary not only for digestion, but also killing the bacteria in your food. This fluid is extremely important as it lets the stomach contract and pulverize your food. Without this process, food pieces wouldn't be small enough to go through the intestines. Drinking too much water before, during, and after your meals leads to a decrease in salivation and dilutes this gastric juice. For that reason, undigested food piles up in your body and may even become toxic, even if you're eating healthy. Keep in mind that consuming cold water or alcoholic drinks makes the situation even worse. Uh-oh! 6. When it comes from a garden hose 
It may seem like a great idea to refresh yourself on a hot summer day by drinking some water from the garden hose. But even if the hose is connected to a pipe with a clean water system, the pipe itself contains elements that can be really dangerous for your health. Organitin disrupts the endocrine system. Antimony is linked to liver, kidney, and other organ damage. And phthalates have a negative effect on mental capacity. They can lower intelligence and cause behavioral changes. A study conducted by the Ecology Center in Ann Arbor, Michigan, found lead in 100% of the garden hoses they tested, and its amount exceeded all safety limits set by the Safe Water Drinking Act. 7. When it contains artificial sweeteners This tidbit will really come in handy for people who are trying to lose weight. Artificial sweeteners actually increase your appetite and can lead to weight gain. You might not know this, but they are from 30 to 8,000 times sweeter than real sugar, which is why you need less of them to make your food and drink sweet. You should also take note that water with lemon or lime flavoring can contain these elements as well. 8. When it comes from the sea Most people are well aware that you should never drink seawater, but few of us understand exactly why it's harmful to your health. First of all, most coastal waters contain pathogenic human viruses. That's why if you accidentally get some water in your mouth while swimming in the sea, you should spit it out immediately. Not unless you want to spend your whole vacation suffering from rotavirus and all its nasty symptoms. Not to mention, seawater contains a tremendous amount of salt, 75% more than your body does. If you accidentally swallow some seawater, the concentration of salt in your blood will skyrocket. To get it back to healthy, normal levels, your body will need tons of pure water and a lot of effort. Drinking salt water can also result in serious dehydration. It's kind of a paradox. When you're dehydrated, you feel thirsty, but at the same time, you urinate more often as the body tries to rid itself of the excess salt. And this can have some grave side effects like loss of appetite, bloody vomit, and loss of consciousness. So it's best to avoid drinking seawater. If you perhaps did accidentally, you need to visit a doctor and drink lots of pure water to fight dehydration. 9. If you've already had lots of water throughout the day Although we've already mentioned this fact, it's important to remember that drinking excessive amounts of water leads to low sodium levels and unpleasant side effects. It's also harmful to your kidneys since it prevents them from doing their job and balancing important components in the blood. Bonus! What happens if you drink too much water? The short answer to that question is it can lead to a condition called hypnoatremia. Doctors say it's nothing to be taken lightly and can put your life at serious risk. Hyponatremia occurs when the sodium levels in your body are so low that your cells start to swell with water. This expands neural tissue, putting too much pressure on the brain. In the worst-case scenario, your lungs can even fill with fluid. The symptoms are pretty terrifying, too. Patients diagnosed with hyponatremia suffer from seizures, confusion, dizziness, depression, headaches, vomiting, and swelling in the hands and feet. Now, these facts aren't meant to scare you to the point that you swear off water forever. Water is essential for normal bodily functions and you definitely need to drink it. But remember, too much of a good thing can be bad. It's better not to go to the extreme and keep any overhydration under control. How much water do you drink a day? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to share this video with your friends to keep them safe and healthy. If this information has been useful to you, then hit that like button. We have boatloads of interesting videos on our channel, so subscribe and join us on the Bright Side of Life!